Police in Miami Township are now investigating a homicide. And tonight, the victim's family is speaking out. We head back to, head back to Alexa Ashwell, live at the coroner's office with the very latest. Well, Megan, shortly after Melvin Allen died, the Montgomery County coroner ruled his death a homicide. On May 26, Allen died at Miami Valley Hospital from injuries officials attribute to blunt force head trauma. Now, Allen was injured on May 18th following an incident Miami Township Police originally began investigating as an assault that occurred in a home off Ashbury Court. A police report indicates officers were called after a woman there claimed Allen was attacking her. Today, we spoke with Allen's brother, William Allen, who says he didn't believe the story as soon as he saw his brother in the hospital. William estimates his brother had about 40 stitches in his head and severe damage to his eye. Now, aside from his brother's injuries, William says the story doesn't match up with his brother's personality or physical capabilities. For that matter, he was a disabled war veteran. I think he won some money off the lotto, and, and I think they saw it and wanted it because he would have been rooming with that lady ever since uh, me 15, 20 years. See, I know it wasn't supposed to happen. He, I guess he was helped paying for that expensive uh, condo they had out there. William Allen says he just wants justice for his brother. We spoke with Miami Township Police who tell us the investigation is ongoing. For now, reporting live in Dayton, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News.